This episode is about your spiritual evolution as an old soul. It is semi-channeled, meaning that I was in the zone and information just streamed through from source. I discussed the concept of being connected to all your lifetimes, including past lives or other dimensions, space realities, and how that connects to this lifetime. The sense of recognition and familiarity that comes from deep soul connections with others. Also, moving up and down the ascension spiral, the idea of ascending and descending on a spiritual journey, how challenges can sometimes pull us down, and the angels give us a message and analogy about timelines and ascension, and I discuss that there is a higher reason for your existence, and we are to remember who we are, to follow your soul's call as the divine spark within us can guide us back to our higher self-awareness. You are connected to all your lifetimes. We are on the evolutionary path. You are on a journey of evolving in a world that is more spiritual than we could ever know. You can feel it within you that there is this sort of ever evolving timeline of your life that not only fits in with this lifetime, but also somehow connects multifariously with other time, space, dimensions or past lives, if you like, or your soul's path in general. Knowing that you have been here before on this planet or for some, maybe even somewhere else, knowing within you that you've had lifetimes before, knowing that you are an old soul. When you connect with that, you feel the resonance of earth and other times past. Perhaps you have felt a link to a country, culture, music, whatever it is, you feel that sense of connection on a deeper level as if you've been there before, where there's a reverberation of ancient times or times gone past. There's a sense of recognition. So when you are connected with that, you have a greater sense of your own being, your personality, but something higher and more than that, because your personality in this lifetime is for this life path now. But there's a connection on some level within you from something somewhere before. It is like a thread that you can follow when you're in your higher mind. And when you follow that thread, on some level, there's a higher knowing, awareness and understanding, even if it's just for a millisecond of time. You have some kind of recognition, such as when you listen to a song from a culture that is not even yours and it sends you right back like echoes of times gone past. You feel it on such a deep core level that you were there or you know that there's some kind of recognition somewhere, somehow. Just like when you have a soul recognition when you meet somebody that you otherwise don't know that you feel you've known before. So tying this all in with the theme of our soul's evolution, this is something that we are connecting with more now on a greater, higher level. We're here for a reason or a multitude of reasons. We've felt this and known this for quite some time now. And then we've gone through periods of self-doubt and regression in a way where you feel like it's more of a descension rather than ascension. That's the interesting thing, even though I've mentioned the word timeline, as in I was really referring to this timeline on Earth, if you're to look at it at a very linear fashion, from when you were baby on the left, all the way across a horizontal timeline to now, to the right and all the way along to the point of death. That is your sort of linear timeline of this lifetime as a human on earth, if you were to look at it in a singularity form. But we know we are so much more than that. We are multidimensional and we are a divine expression in human form with a mission here on earth. 
sometimes you feel like you're getting off track or like you're falling down rather than rising up. That is all a very natural part of this journey because of what we experience here on earth. And for many of us, we are experiencing it far greater than some others or more consciously at least on a kind of super sensory level. That's when you feel like it all gets too much, especially added to that when you have a heightened sense of sensitivity or empathy, energy and intuition awareness on some level because you are that old soul. You are that higher knowing being, but you're here in a thicker density, in a lower energy, having to come to terms with being something so much more in a world that is somehow reflecting back to you so much less in a way. And that, in turn, can make you feel so lost, aggravated or deflated. You don't always feel like you're on your path and it can get super lonely here as well. Like you're the only one sitting on your mountain looking over it all from a higher perspective or on the other side of the spectrum, you're pulled down into the trenches with the others or all alone by yourself. Because of all the energy, all the people, situations, experiences, and all the life stuff that comes your way, it can bring you down. That's when you feel like you're in the gutters or you're feeling low, negative, getting exhausted or starting to doubt yourself. You for a time lose touch with your higher self. Those higher aspects seem so out of reach or unattainable because it's so dense down here. All of the lower energy droops you out of your higher self awareness and you can feel trapped. It's all an illusion. We are here to rise above it. Instead of seeing the projectile of your human life as a flat, horizontal, one-dimensional timeline, the angels are now reminding us that our timelines are rather more like a spiral. They are not linear, but rather multifarious, and ascension is like a spiral. And so they say to see it as that when you're feeling down and you're in your sort of pits of despair or you're anywhere on the spectrum from a little bit irritated to having a whole dark year of the soul where it's just so deep, dark, intense and horrible, know that the thing that always brings you back or awakens you even just for a moment is that divine spark of light and knowing within you. When we talk about becoming more of your higher self from an evolutionary point of view, it's not necessarily always that you are becoming it. In a way you're becoming it because you're manifesting it in physical form through your awareness, energy and intention. But in other ways, it is more like you are that already. And so there's a sense of remembering. Remembering is what brings us into intuitive awareness. Remembering is a knowing, a deep sense of knowing and yearning for that return home from whence we came, the higher realms. And that is something we know so deep inside us that it cannot be denied. Knowing that is a thread we will follow through our lives. It is like a lit up pathway laid out before us. That's how the angels show it. And we have a sense of knowing too, that we have our angels and our guides here to support us and show us the way. And despite how lonely, depressed or isolated we may feel at times, they help us through our evolution as a soul experiencing a lifetime on earth that we perceive is current. And when I say the word current, it reminds me of two things. One is going with the flow, the tides of life and in the flux of the energy. And the other is being in the now. And when you are in the now, you cross all time, space and dimension. You're connected to the all in that very moment. It is zero point, the access point or portal to it all. 
it is like a spark of consciousness that can expand. And when you expand that, you become part of all that is. And that all that is, is the greater macrocosm of us who are the microcosmic entity right now. We are that dot in the spectrum of reality and we are being on this planet at this particular so-called time. And when I say time, remembering too that it is multifaceted and multidimensional. And more than that, it is not one linear point in time, even though we feel like that's what it is. So the idea is, if you think of it as a dot in the spectrum of the timeline multitude, then you expand that outwards and it is all one and happening simultaneously, which is also what quantum physics so intelligently supports. There is a higher reason for your existence. You are a divine being and knowing that is knowing that you are not limited, that you are the opposite of limited. You are abundant and have an abundance of support and possibilities and probabilities. And in the evolutionary process, what we're here to believe and activate in ourselves and others, namely others around us, but also the world at large or whoever our reach reaches, the ripple effects of us as a being and our action, thoughts, emotions and energy, as well as intention, is huge. The idea that the work we do here on earth and the reason for our entire being is so much more than what we allow ourselves to believe or we feel like we can't always quite get in touch with it. But it is the higher truth. And when we access that higher truth, even just for a moment where we expand that moment in time, then that is how we know that we have something more divine to do, that it can be the most simplest thing and that our evolutionary process can come from a simple, pure place where we are the absolute truth of who we truly are. Our future potentials are a reflection of that from this place of pure simplicity and divine alignment because everything comes together when we are in that space. We are supported and see it reflected back to us and the actions and ambience, if you like, the frequency of other people, situations or reality shifts because we're coming from that higher place. So coming back to this theme of your higher evolution, it happens in the most beneficial, amazing and highest possible way when you're in touch with that divine spark within you in the now, fully aligned to your inner presence that will guide you your way home, aligning you to the stars, to God's source, to our divine creator of all that is. And that is what to aim for, what to focus on, where to receive your inner sustenance and the place within which to retreat and be and shine that light from. Again, all of that leads you home and guides your way. So come from that place and you will naturally embrace your soul's essence in this lifetime and move up your evolutionary spiral in a way that is wholesome and true to you, where you boost and accelerate, but without force, in the flow, your evolutionary path back to the divine in a higher, brighter and more knowing way, knowing that your job is done as an old soul on earth, returning back home with a smile, with the greater sense of fulfillment and encouragement that you heeded your soul and followed the call.